All right, well now we just gotta get through our birthday and then it's just a matter of time until graduation comes and we see whether we get that hug CG. <sighs> Cause let's be honest, Jeremy, you're never gonna kiss this girl. <laughs> Not now anyway. Ah, hooray. Finally, the best meeting of the year is here. My birthday. Whoop, whoop. Time to play my favorite game. Happy birthday, self. Happy birthday. I don't think I've... Has Shiloh always had this expression, or... I feel like he's kind of long-suffering <laughs> with his look instead of, like, genuine... You know, that genuine giant smile he usually has. Hmm. You're so pathetic you have to wish yourself a happy birthday. Fine. Happy birthday to my two sisters. They can't hear you. Picky, picky, picky. But whatever, you can't bring me down today. Do you know what party game you'd like to play, Jukit? <laughs> I do. Be afraid. Don't be such babies. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be painful. Just let her say what it is already, sheesh. Okay, we're gonna play the Merry Kiss Not Too Severely Punch Game! Yay! Ha. Uh, oh, uh, lovely. God! You really held on to that? It's been a year! Yes, and apparently I'm not the only one who hasn't forgotten. Let it die, seriously. No, I don't have to. Lynn, tell her she can't play that game. It'll be too mean-spirited. Lynn, you wouldn't take this away from me, right? It's my birthday and I've waited so long. Enough with your crocodile tears. That game is inappropriate. Hate the players, not the game. It can totally work. Yes, we'll give it a try. But please be nice to one another about it. Woo! Ugh. Who wants to go first? Wait, never mind. Shiloh, you're gonna go first. Have your answers changed since last year? Can I pick you this time? Good question, and I've got a brilliant solution. Everyone will give two answers, one that includes me and one that doesn't. Why do you need a version where you're not an option? <laughs> Come on, we all know pretty much all of you are gonna choose to marry me, and predictability is no fun. If that's true, why do we need a version where you're an option at all? Because I still like being included, and it'll be nice to hear. So it's settled. Two answers for all of you. You can't make us do that. It's my game. Now start us off, Shiloh. My answers without your kid are the same. Could you repeat those? Some of us might not remember. Kiss Nate, Mary Bay, and Punch Everett. When Jurket is an option, she'd be the one I'd marry. A surprise to no one. I want to go last, so someone else take a turn. Uh -huh. I'll go. I would punch Nate, marry Shiloh, and kiss Pran. That's an unexpected last choice. Explain yourself. I have no interest in violence, so I chose Nate to hit because he wouldn't even feel a punch from me. I'd like a positive, outgoing spouse, so that's why I chose Shiloh. And I wouldn't want to make things awkward, so I chose Pran since he'd have no reaction to being chosen for that spot. Yeah, those aren't his real reasons at all. Probably not even his real picks. Think what you want, but I have no other answers to give you. Whatever, we'll take him. So what are your answers when I'm an option? The same. How rude! Everett is right. You're not being honest with your answers at all. Hmm, sounds like it's getting too serious. We should stop. Ha ha. No. Jeremy, you go. And don't bother saying you don't want to. Huh. I would punch Bay, marry Pran, and kiss Nate. God! Why me again? Yes, Jeremy. Clarify those choices. Ah, uh, Bay is a wimp like me, so I wouldn't have to worry about retaliation. Pran is the only one I can tolerate being around, and Nate also knows that kind of stuff is gross, so we'd get it over with quick. Fair enough. And when I'm an option? It doesn't change anything. 
Wow, you guys are so doing this out of spite. Next. Ugh, I'll do it. I'd marry Nate, punch Jeremy, and kiss. Damn it, Shiloh. Why? Nate is the best of you people. Jeremy is annoying, and Shiloh is the least shitty option of the people left. You think Shiloh is better than Pran? I had no idea, Posey. So? Yeah, whatever. What about when you can pick me? I'd kiss you, duh. Well, that's something. Nate, you go. I'd... marry Everett, punch Bay, and... ugh, kiss Jeremy. Those are pretty self-explanatory. You don't need to explain. Good. So what would you do with me as an option? Nothing. Really? Why would so many of you rather kiss a person you supposedly can't stand than me? I thought you wanted us to marry you. Why do you care who we kiss? Cause that's crazy. I demand an answer. You'd make it weird. Wrong. I know the real answer. You're all just too embarrassed. If you say you want to kiss someone else, everyone knows it's just cause you have to pick someone. But if you pick me, it's because you actually want to, and that's hard to admit. Yes, yeah, Sunshine, that is exactly the reason. Since you have it all figured out, please let us continue the game. Fine. It's your turn, Fran. I don't care. Too bad. You can't get away with that kind of thing anymore. You're gonna take part in this game. You can't make me do anything. I refuse to spend any time waiting for him. His answers are marry Jeremy, kiss your cat, and punch himself. Done. But who would he kiss when I'm not an option? So much for making Pran play the game himself. He'd kiss Bay because Bay chose him. Good enough. My turn! I would. Now I know Jeremy said he would punch, uh, Bay, but we punched Bay before as Nate, so I'm gonna punch Everett, because I haven't punched Everett yet. Fuck you. Yeah, that'll make me not want to punch you. <laughs> I had to know. Uh, we're gonna kiss Jeremy. Sigh. Hey, that's a good thing. <laughs> Poor Jeremy. And we'll marry Pran. Why not? Mm. I can see how much it means to you. Mm. <laughs> Eyebrow slightly moves. Well, it's over. That was the worst game we ever played. I had fun. Of course you did, you creep. How about your cat opens her present now that we're finished? Yes, give me presents. Here you are. I got a... Cute new teddy bear. Thanks, Lynn. I really like how that's a gift normally given by a boyfriend. Um... <laughs> Don't worry, I'm sure that doesn't mean anything. It could also mean he thinks of you as a little girl. Shh, we're not talking about that. <laughs> well, all that's left is to wish your kid a happy birthday. Oh, Lynn, I got her a present too. Should she open it here? You disgust me. That's not what you were saying earlier when you decided to kiss me. Fuck this meeting. I think I'll leave that up to your kid. Give it here, Shiloh. I want to open it now. Here, I hope you like it. It is... Some sexy lingerie. Wow, thanks. What? <laughs> That's a joke, you moms. Calm down. It's actually a DVD box set of some zombie show. Yeah, I really like that show, so I thought if you saw it, we could talk about it sometime. I'll consider it. Yay. Please end this. Wish her a happy birthday and we'll officially be done. Happy birthday. Aw, you smiled at me even though I punched you. Thanks, you're a doll. Happy birthday. Thanks, I appreciate that. Happy birthday, Jerkit! Thanks, it's so sweet of you. Happy birthday, Sugar Plum. Thanks, I brightened up my whole day. Ah, uh, happy birthday. 
Thank you, boyfriend. That makes me happy. Um, okay. <laughs> happy birthday. Thanks. I'm gonna start getting emotional. Happy birthday, Drew Kit. Thanks. You're a true pal. <laughs> and thank you, everyone, for coming. Have a good day. We did it! <laughs> we made it. Okay. Now we just gotta get to graduation. Word would come eventually. Just wanna max out my money. <laughs> I feel better knowing I can take a vacation at the end of this. Uh... Oh, I should actually just double check with Alicia and make sure maximum affection has been reached with this boy, and it should have. Yeah, there we go. We're good. Good, good, good. We'll just continue texting our weekends away. Even though we don't need to gain affection anymore, we're maxed out. Oh, is this the, uh... What a weird time to run into this scene. <laughs> I'm gonna leave soon. I can't babysit you guys anymore. Uh... <laughs> I do miss those three. Should be getting letters soon, too, probably. Can't remember when that happens. Oh, hello, Nate. Random Nate scene is random. <laughs> but we've done it before, so that's fine. Am I gonna have to do one more sleep? Maybe, I don't know. We still haven't gotten any letters. Yep. One more nap. Probably our last nap in that room. Oh, right. I forgot that Nate's birthday was afterwards. Uh, sorry, Nate. Didn't mean to forget you. This music's so good. The killer was the butler. His problem was sending messages. Uh, your relationship. And his personality. Why he was here. We made Nate smile on his birthday. Ah. Ah, oh, this is from Mom. What you've got? Alright. Ah, uh, they still know me so well. Next, from Jeremy's parents. Jennifer, Jackson, and Jeremy. Of course, they're that kind of family. <laughs> I love it. Hey, hey, it's Jennifer and Jackson, otherwise known as Mr. and Mrs. King. Congrats on graduating. We're really gonna miss having you around, though. It's hard to find good help nowadays. Lucky not you, Jeremy. Just kidding, he's great, too. We hope you'll keep in touch with us and our moody boy. We wanted him to sign the card too, but I think he's avoiding me right now. Take care of yourself. Aww. Oh, <laughs> uh, he's avoiding you. Not again. <laughs> I bet I'm closer to Jeremy's parents than he is. Probably. Not too hard to do, though. I'm getting excited. Uh huh. Don't get too excited, all right? Huh, end of the road. All right. Last meeting, going out around the town. And I know that Jeremy and Bran go to the animated film because that's the only kind of movies they like. So I don't have to rewind and figure that out. Coming up, Woodchuck. What? I thought... Yeah, okay. They're just saying, bye. <laughs> I'm like, why are you three showing up? 
And I know Jeremy slept through all of it. Oh boy, here's the breakup scene. Uh, I can't believe it's really over. I never wanted it to end. Ah, uh, okay. Sheesh, this is so depressing. Do something. I'm um, sorry? Uh-huh. Anything else? I'm still feeling bad over here. And... I don't know. Who cares if those meetings are over? <laughs> like I could really expect you of all people to cheer anyone up. No, we're just gonna have to be the mopey couple for a while. What? What? I'm being mopey. You're always mopey, so we're the mopey couple. Not that. How much longer are we supposed to be a couple? We're graduating in a week. Well, I was gonna wait until a little bit after this crushing experience, but fine. If you must know, right at this moment, we're gonna be a couple for... <laughs> if I was really mad, zero more seconds. Uh, yeah. I'm assuming that... You know what? <laughs> Just in case she decides to... Destroy stuff on me. As long as I feel like it. Huh. I know, but how long is that gonna be? I don't know. Longer than a week. But you're going away after that. We can long distance. It'll be fine. Sigh. Why are you sighing? Long distance seems like the perfect type of relationship for you, Jerbear. Shouldn't you be bored of this already? <sighs> Have these two years we've spent at this school together seriously not gotten through your head? I like being around you. You're way too much of a doll to let go of what we've got that easily. Um. Aw, his eyes got big. Besides, I'm always happy about how great life is for someone like me. You're always sad about how life is for someone like you. We're practically made for each other. You need me to be the only light in your darkness. And I guess I need you for something, too. You guess? <laughs> no, you're a sharp kid. I'm sure you already figured that you... You already figured that you? Sure. I need you to be even happier than usual. Aw. And don't even try to suggest I find some new guy back home. There's no way I'll meet another boy like you. Now accept this as an inevitability already. Ah. Uh, whatever. I expected something like this. Good. Now come along. I'm going to make you a schedule. For what? For how often you should get in touch, of course. If I left it up to you, you'd send, like, one text a week. That's not gonna cut it. And I'm gonna be getting your parents in on this so they can help make sure you don't slack off. Huh. I don't need their help with something like that. You do care. How sweet. Uh, I just don't want my mom and dad sticking their noses in this more than they already do. Mm-hmm. Sure, that's what you meant. Sigh. <laughs> Aw, oh, he wants to keep in touch with you. Would it be bad if I stopped showing up for the rest of the week? Probably. Is it time? It is. Ah, uh, today is the day. It really doesn't feel like it's been almost two years already. I really should have pushed my parents harder. Three or four years in a boarding school would have been way better. We should actually skip through this. It's gonna be like the same. Like, here's your codes. All right. Um, I just want to get to when he knocks. Oh, I, I missed the code for Jeremy. I can't believe I missed the code for Jeremy. I'll find it in the in the post. Uh, that's what I get for trying to skip through. I just was just so anxious. I'm so anxious to get to this last CG and see what's gonna happen. Ah, uh, hello. I'm here, unfortunately. Oh, good. It's the other half of the mopey couple. You're doing that again. Yeah, I realize it's kind of cute, and today is the best day to do it. I guess. Everything is awful. I'm right there with you, brother. Huh. Huh. Okay. 
We should probably go. Whatever. If that's what you want, I'd rather stay here. Is that your way of saying you want to come in my room and cheer me up with some special alone time? Ew. No. I meant the dorm area in general. That's not worth skipping graduation over. Oh well. Let's go. Huh. <sighs> um, how long are you going to be like that? Why? Does someone acting like this annoy you? Not exactly. It just doesn't feel right. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, well, I don't really believe you. Excuse me? It's just hard to imagine you being actually sad over something. Well, I appreciate that you noticed how I'm the type who always looks on the bright side, but I'm still human. I guess. Sigh. Why do we even need to have a ceremony? This is barely something worth celebrating. Most of the people here are going to live wholly unnecessary lives, myself included. <laughs> okay, Jerbear. Way to prove that no matter how down I am, it really won't compare to a true professional like yourself. Whatever. It's not like that's a lie. Yeah, it is. Sure, some people will be nobody losers forever, but that's not you. Me, you, those other jerks, we're all winners. And now I'm sad again. I can't believe our group is really over. Me neither. I still wake up in the middle of the night with a cold sweat thinking I'm about to get a text telling me there's another meeting tomorrow. <laughs> Aw. Don't be such a drama queen. They weren't that bad. Sigh. There's no point trying to respond to that. Yeah, yeah. Huh. I wish school could have lasted a couple months more. Oh? You do? Yes, now I have to move back into my parents' house until college starts this fall. You're starting college in a couple months? Of course. I'm not gonna just sit around here. Where are you even going? Some business school in another state. I'm not gonna tell you more than that. You might surprise me by applying to the same places. Oh, please. Do you really think I'm going to revolve my entire life around you? I'd like to hope not, but you're crazy, so I'm not taking any chances. Yeah, well, if I want to find out where you're going, I will. Sigh. You're probably right. Of course. But man, this is so depressing. Just thinking of my little Jerbear moving on with his life and going off to college is heartbreaking. Moving on with my life? I wish. It's probably only gonna amount to a detour. In the end, I'm sure my parents will find a way to drag me back here and make me spend a miserable life in that store. Ouch. Maybe I'm overstepping my bounds, not that I've ever cared about that before, but would it really have to be that bad? From what I've gathered, it seems like you and your friend, your folks could get along way better if you just improved your communication skills. If you give it a chance, I'd totally be up for interpreting what you actually mean when you say stuff. Um, no. Please? No. Okay, still too soon for that kind of progress. Hmm. If you really hate it that much, I'm sure there's some way to get out of it. Even for a pushover like you. Like what? Jeremy, marry me. What? Or at least move in with me. We could live in Oregon together, and your parents wouldn't dare pull you apart from your one true love. Ah, uh, He's actually considering it. Oh my god. Come on. Would being with me really be worse than working in that stuffy old hobby shop? Um, I don't know. Possibly. Probably. Well, you still want to go away to college, so we can save that discussion for later. Just keep it in mind. I'd never be able to forget even if I wanted to, which I do. <laughs> Perfect. Sigh, can you go back to being depressed? No way. Everything is gonna be alright. Are you sure about that? Yes, Jerbear. Have fun living in ignorance, then. I will, as long as you're there with me. I don't have an option, do I? You know me so well, Jeremy. Huh. Yep. Well, there is still one problem in this world. I've got this cold, empty hand with nothing to hold on to. Ah. Uh, Would you mind, cutie? Huh. Whatever. Nah. 
All right, no hugs, but we got a little hand holding. And he's like, I'm not looking at you. <laughs> you were just gonna move in with her a minute ago. You better hold her hand. Yay. You're such a wonderful boy. Not really. You could do a lot better. It's pretty sad how little you'll take, honestly. And trust me, I know sad. I'm a professional. <laughs> you certainly do. But you obviously don't know Charming. If you did, you'd realize I've got nothing to complain about. Huh. If you say so. I do, and I always will. Any objections? Meaningful achievement unlocked. Aw. Sigh. Nope. Of course, this is how things are gonna be from now on. That's life. <laughs> Aw, he's asleep! What a cute picture of him! Doesn't even really look like him. He looks like a Kingdom Hearts character, actually. <laughs> and this end, uh, end card. Aw. And we get to listen to his theme as we end. That was so good. Aw. What a sweet boy. <laughs> sweet, sad, sad boy. <laughs> but I can't believe that he actually considered moving in with her. He's like, what? I mean, no. It would suck, right? <laughs> I mean, you want to go to another state. Oregon's another state. Or you guys could go to both go to another state completely. Man, Jeremy in college. That would be so interesting. He's so little. It's just odd to think of him going to college. He's so smart. What a good boy. Getting his education. He's definitely going to be like a millionaire at some point. Oh, that was so cute. I really enjoyed his route. Such a lovable little boy. <laughs> uh, I think I'll put him at a solid number three right now behind Bay and Nate. Oh, I'm still debating it, who is number one in my heart. Those two. But Jeremy, Jeremy killed it. I really, really enjoyed his route. I wonder what his confession scene's gonna be like. Why would he confess? I have so many questions about that. <laughs> I mean, there's no point, right? Hmm. I have questions. I guess we'll find out soon, though. And maybe by the next video, I'll have edited this and find out what that achievement was. <laughs> I can't believe I skipped through that. Bleh. Well, not achievement, but the code for unlocking affection with Jeremy. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed Jeremy's route. I definitely did. And like I said, we'll be doing the confession uh, scene next time. So I'll hope to see you there for that. Until next time, I will see you later.